Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today I'm gonna to give you three Middle Eastern fall fragrances for under $100. So let's jump into it. All right, so today I'm gonna to cover three fall fragrances from Middle Eastern houses. They're gonna cost you $100 or less combined total from discounters. I'm gonna have links down in the descriptions to all the fragrances I am talking about today. This was a super hard list to make because there's so many awesome Middle Eastern fragrances that are usually on the cheap. Like I could have had a combination of so many different fragrances in this one, but I decided to pick some fragrances out that I haven't talked about on this channel yet. Absolute bangers, I really enjoy these ones. I will give an honorable mention because I, it took all of my willpower not to include this one in, in this list. And that is, that is my darling, that is my Latafa Ragba Wood Intense. I, I have a full review of this. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you haven't seen that review to go check this one out. But I didn't put this one in the list, but this gets an honorable mention. This is $25 and this could have made the list quite easily, but I'm not gonna do it because I've already talked about it, but I, I, I love this fragrance and I just saw so much. So the fragrances I did pick out for you guys, I tried to cover a huge range of different kind of styles, scent profiles. I got one that's kind of fresh, woody, spicy. Another one that's very, very sweet, kind of on the gourmand side. And another one that's kind of more of the kind of that typical Middle Eastern spicy, oody, masculine style vibe to it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so kicking off this list, I decided to go for a fragrance that I've worn a handful of times last year. I've worn it a couple times recently, and each and every time I wear this one, I fall more and more in love with it, fastly becoming one of my favorite in the line. It is Rasasi Satur. Wow. I am very tempted to make a wow joke, pun, something, but I'm gonna hold off and I'm not gonna do that. But that is how you pronounce it, is wow in Arabic, the W-A-A-W. From the House of Rasasi, it is an eau de parfum concentration, and you can pick this up at discounts for like $38 to $60, depending if you want a tester or a full presentation. Like I said, the tester is $38, but I believe it does not come with a cap. I'm gonna have a link down in the description for where you can find this bad boy if it sounds like something you'd enjoy. I think you would enjoy this one, because this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance, and each and every time I wear this one, I fall more and more in love with it. The opening on this, the atomizer on this is freaking fire too. The opening on this is such a beautiful, rich, fresh, warm, spicy medley of just cinnamon, cardamom, pepper. It's got some saffron mixed in there. And it's got this like walnut note that's kind of sits on the edge, adding like a little bit of like a nutty woodness, woodiness to it, woodness to it. It's on the edges and it's really, really nice. But what you really get is that cardamom with that black pepper, that cinnamon, and that saffron just kind of like softens things. So it's not like a punchy in the face kind of spicy. It's just a beautiful, well-blended, rich medley of spices. And I absolutely love it. As this one kind of starts to develop and open up a little bit more, you get some saffron that comes through in the mid. I get a little bit of that amber from the base coming through. So it adds like a touch of sweetness to it. This is not a sweet fragrance by any means but there is, off my skin at least, I do get some sweetness out of this where it just kind of pops up with that amber, adding to that fresh spiciness. And it also adds to this like this balsam that's in the mid that's, that adds this like thick resinous to it. It gives it some density, some depth. Absolutely gorgeous. Once those resins start coming through and that little touch of sweetness mixed with those spices, this just becomes like a very rich, warm, dense, sophisticated, like elegant, classy style fragrance absolutely love this as it starts to open up and this just just it just starts developing into this gorgeous gorgeous fragrance in the base you get these beautiful woods you get this nice creamy sandalwood that comes through mixing with that amber and some of that kind of resin notes along with those spices the cardamom kind of carries through all the way through this fragrance the cinnamon and all that kind of dies off a bit but the cardamom kind of carries through mixing with that resinous mixing with that creamy sandalwood some guyac wood some cedar that's mixed in there as well and a little touch of vetiver, gorgeous medley of woods, mixed with that spice, mixed with that resins, that little touch of that sweetness, absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, this is very sexy, sophisticated, like elegant, classy, gentlemanly style fragrance. There's like, the quality of juice in here for the price you pay is unreal. It's the, there's no like synthetic alcohol blast in the opening. It's just a very smooth, smooth, well-blended fragrance. I can't, I can't express how, how, well this comes across oh it's so nice so friggin nice performance on this is great too i get six eight hours no problem like more if i kind of overspray this projection in the first two three hours is really good it pushes out you know fairly decent before it starts to settle in a little bit so performance on this is not a beast mode fragrance if you overspray this you can start choking people out because 
Again, it's very like rich and spicy and it's got that kind of resinous feel to it. So it can be too much if you overspray, but it's not a beast mode projector or performer in that means. But I have zero complaints about the performance on this. Absolutely love how this performs. Definitely kind of like, it's definitely a fall style fragrance. This would be too much in the, the high heat, I think. But it's definitely kind of a dressy style fragrance. Like you can wear this date night for sure, evenings out, you know, more formal kind of events like going to operas or whatever kind of fancy formal things you might do. That's the kind of situation this is. It has this elegance, it has this class, this, this refined, dense, rich, dark, resinous, sweet, woody, spicy vibe going on. Absolutely love this one. I think you guys might enjoy this one as well. Get your nose on it. That's for Saucy Satur. Wow. All right, so next up, we're going with something a little bit more on the sweet side, a little bit gourmand, a little bit more fun, a little bit more playful, and it's from the house of our moth. It's our moth craze. Now, we always have to talk about the Armoff bottles because I don't know why they do this. This is such a crappy bottle, even by Armoff standards. Like, this doesn't sit on here very well. It's a very cheap plastic. It doesn't even click into place. It just kind of comes off, and I don't know why they have a belt across this. I don't know. I can't tell you, but it's a good thing the juice in here is absolutely friggin' stellar because the, the bottle is almost, even for me and my taste in bottle, this is almost too much for me to handle. Like, I'm just... It is what it is. The juice in here, though, Absolutely friggin' fantastic. This has been said to be a clone of Parfums de Mollery Pegasus. I do not own that one, but if this is what it smells like, it is a beautiful fragrance as well because this is just such a beautiful, sweet, vanilla, bitter almond heliotrope fragrance right off the top. That's pretty much the story of this fragrance. This is a fairly linear fragrance. You're not going to get a whole lot of development as you know, from opening all the way to the dry down. You do get a little bit of woods coming through. You get a little bit of cumin kind of spice at the top with like a touch of bergamot for a few seconds. But the real story, the real star of the show is that almond, is that vanilla and that heliotrope that mixes in there. There's also some like sage and some, some other floral notes like jasmine, I believe that's mixed in there. So it does kind of like add a little bit of sweetness, add a tiny bit of spiciness to it. But like I said, vanilla, almond, heliotrope, that is the story of the show. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how this one smells. Very sweet, very like gourmand style fragrance. Very fun, very playful, kind of like sexy, a little bit flirty. Definitely something you can wear out to like the clubs, date night. You can wear this casually, but I definitely think this is a cool weather fragrance. Like I said, this is definitely a fall winter style fragrance. In the high heat, this would be absolutely way too much. This would be very, very cloying in the high heat. Perfect for the cool nights. Perfect for the kind of the cooler days in the fall or like late fall, early winter. This is where this one absolutely shines. It's just sexy, delicious, fun, flirty, playful. And for $25 at discounters, again, links are gonna be down in the description. This is an absolute steal of a deal. Yeah, the bottle, you're gonna have to deal with the bottle, but I'm telling you that it's absolutely worth it because the juice in here is absolutely amazing. Performance on this is nuclear. This stuff, I get crazy performance out of this, like 12 plus hours easy. If I put this on my clothes, it's, I, it's gonna take three washes before the smell comes out. Maybe, maybe not three, I might be exaggerating a little bit there. But this is a beast mode performer. This projects out loud and hard for the first three, four hours. So you gotta be careful on the sprays with this. Like two, three sprays, you're good to go on this. Anything more than that, you're gonna start choking people out. So be careful, I'm warning you right now. Like if you overdo this, if you go with like, if you're a six to eight sprayer typically, you are gonna, not gonna be making friends if you do that with Arm Off Craze. Cause performance on this, absolutely stellar. Bang for your buck. This is like one of the strongest arm offs that I have in my collection. Absolutely love the performance on this. Absolutely love the scent profile on this. Do not enjoy the bottle, but for $25, it's absolutely worth it. You should be checking it out. That's arm off craze. All right, last, but certainly not least, we got one from one of my favorite Middle Eastern houses, maybe one of my favorite houses in general, and that is Latafa's Kayed. Now, I hope I am pronouncing that right. Kayed, Kayed. If, I, if I'm butchering that, leave a comment down below and tell me that I'm butchering that and how to pronounce it properly. This is an absolutely stellar fragrance. You can pick this up at discounters for $18. And when I first purchased this, I thought the I thought it was I was stealing. It was so cheap for the quality of juice that's in here. Beautiful, masculine, spicy, sweet oud style fragrance. Absolutely love this one. This one starts off with a very similar opening to the Rosasi Satur in the sense that it has cinnamon and it has cardamom, but it comes across very, very different. This one has kind of more of like the warm spiciness to it. 
with more of kind of that masculine edge to it because I think what it is is like right out the gate you get a really heavy dose of saffron and you get a really heavy dose of oud that comes through so it it just kind of makes that spice change a little bit and it gives it a very warm spiciness with that that woody style oud and that heavy dose of saffron and it's absolutely gorgeous this is like the most like Middle Eastern vibe fragrance within this list because of that oud. The oud comes across very kind of like more of a woody oud than it does like a metallic or kind of an animalic oud. And I, of the three, I don't mind all three variations of oud, but I do really enjoy the, the more kind of woody ouds that come through. And that's why I really, really like this. Mixed with that cinnamon, that cardamom, with that heavy dose of saffron and that oud, absolutely gorgeous and as this dries down you get a lot of like this vanilla and this amber starting to come through that kind of adds that sweetness to it along with that spice along with that kind of woody oud absolutely gorgeous i do get off my skin i get a hint of a leather note that's in there like kind of like almost like a like a smoky leather that starts to come through it is subtle it's not a dominant note but it is kind of there but what you really get out of here like i said is that saffron that oud that spice at the top and a little bit of that sweetness from the vanilla and amber gorgeous dark resinous masculine rich classy style fragrance i think you can wear this casually i think this is just kind of an everyday wear if you're that that kind of a person where if you want to feel very like masculine have that kind of like vibe going on definitely dress this up as well this would be fine for formal nights date nights all that kind of stuff not a club banger fragrance necessarily like it could be but it doesn't have that the that level of sweetness to it that kind of makes it your typical club style fragrance i do i do think like you know evenings out date nights formal occasions or just running around wearing it casually that's where you you know where you could wear it the most Definitely a fall winter style fragrance. I think this doesn't have the kind of vibe you would wear in the summer. So it's definitely a fall fragrance. I love wearing this one in kind of the cooler, cooler days, definitely in the cooler evenings. This one just fits the vibe perfect. Just like I said, it's got that dark masculine sort of resinous touch of sweetness, oody saffron vibe. And I absolutely love this one. Performance on this, really good. I get eight hours out of this one, no problem. First two, three hours, it projects pretty good. It's not like a beast mode projector, but it does project pretty good. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Performance on this is awesome. For $18 at Discounters, links are gonna be down in the description. Absolute steal of a deal. I definitely think if you haven't checked it out, you should be checking it out. That is Latafa's Cayenne. All right, so there you have it. That's three Middle Eastern style fall fragrances for under $100 combined at Discounters. Again, I'm gonna have links down in the description. If any of these sounded like something you wanna check out, highly recommend you go check them out because they're absolutely bomb fragrances. I picked these ones because I think they're gonna cover a variety of different situations, a variety of different tastes, you know, what you're going for, what kind of mood you're in. So I, I got a nice variety for you guys and I hope you really enjoyed what I picked out for you. But let me know down in the comments, what is something that you're looking forward to wearing in the fall that is a, kind of a certified cheapie, you know, $40 or under? What Middle Eastern fragrance are you looking forward to the most in the fall? So comment down below. Love hearing from you guys, love getting recommendations. You guys are just building up my ever growing list of to buys and it's going to be very expensive, but I still really appreciate it and really enjoy reading your comments. So comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.